Howdy, this is Michael Good from GoodTrades.com with a little video to show you how to use Interactive Brokers Short Sale Availability Tool. Now, as you've seen on the blog post that this video is embedded in, that you can look on their FTP page or via their website to check short sale availability, and then you also have the short the shortable column right here. So instead, let's look at the more detailed tool. So you go to your TWS, you log into Account Management Home, or you just log in on Interactive Brokers website. Then we move this down a little bit so you can see. We go to Tools here. Then we go to Short Stock Availability. Then we just type, type in the symbol in the exchange, you know, OTCBB for raise, NYSE, Amex, NASDAQ, or pink for pink sheets. And just make sure it's OTCPB and not just OTC. So then we search and we get a bunch of information here. So first we find out, you know, double check that this is the right company, Raystream. Number of lenders with inventory. So Interactive Brokers doesn't just allow short sellers to short using shares that other customers of Interactive Brokers are long. Interactive Brokers will borrow for you from other clearing firms, mutual funds, uh, any, any other entity that lends out their shares. So this tells you that there's four different clearing firms or uh, uh, brokers that are lending their shares uh, to Interactive Brokers clients right now. So what's the amount available right now? 11 shares, which is basically nothing. <laughs> Current indicative rate is the annual percentage rate you'd be charged for borrowing these shares. That's uh, so 21% a year. Divide that by 360 and then multiply uh, that rate by the value of the shares short you have. So if your position value is $20,000 uh, short raise stream, then you multiply that by 0.2117 and then divide that by 360 to determine your daily borrow cost. But this does change over time. So if you short it today, you're not going to be paying that this rate for the rest of the year. You're going to be paying whatever the daily rate is. So now we've got that. You can look at the availability based on different times throughout the day. So this is just every half hour. So you don't find out exactly when shares disappear, but you do see uh, a lot of detail, which is useful. So we see here, you know, 8.30, 400,000 shares, 9 o'clock, 400,000 shares, 9.30, 20,000 shares. If you were at IB, you'd say, wait, raised didn't trade pre-market. How did all those shares disappear? Well, I mean, the good thing is also the bad thing. So IB does get shares to short for short sellers from other clearing firms and brokers. But that means uh, those firms, given a choice, they'd rather lend those shares out to their own clients. So, uh you know, if it was from Goldman Sachs, their clients can reserve shares to short. So maybe uh, some big hedge fund called up Goldman Sachs and said, okay, you got any raise? And they said, yeah, we got 300,000. They said, okay, we'll pay you uh, a third of a cent to reserve those shares to short today or whatever. But so that's why you can have these shares dropping a lot, even without, even without uh, having any uh, transactions or anybody shorting at IB. Then you can look at historical rates on previous days. This only goes back like uh, two, two weeks, but it's useful. Look at the indicative mean rate. So that's, again, the APR paid for borrowing the shares. And then was available. It doesn't tell you how many shares, but it does tell you whether there were at least a few shares available to short. So I hope you find this useful. Um, I do. It's, it's very useful to see when shares are available, when they're not, and how many shares are available. So thanks for taking the time to watch this, and I'll see you next time at goodtrades.com.